eyes were set on Cairo International Stadium, where Al Ahli underwent a game with tough circumstances and absence. I'm Yumn Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Shrift's brace secures victory in Cairo Derby. Musimani, Ali Lutfi is the man of the match. Sharif, our victory is a big step in our journey to defend the title. Abdel Hafiz, this victory reflects Al Ahli's character. Ishnawi rejoins for training. Al Ahli's women basketball team qualifies to the final of the ESL. Al Ahli loses Malik in the handball Cairo Derby. Al Ahli achieved a 2 to 1 victory over Zamalek on Sunday night in a game postponed from the fourth fixture of the Egyptian Premier League. The Red Eagles repeated the results of our last encounter in November 2020 when we won the CAF Champions League title. Mohamed Sharif was on fire in the encounter, having scored two goals in the first half, while Zamalek's only goal was scored by Mahmoud Shikubala. Ali Lutfi, our goalkeeper, put on a heroic performance, saving a penalty from Zamalek's Mahmoud Ala in the second half and making several important saves during the match. Despite missing many key players, the Red Eagles showed a strong performance and sealed an important three points in our journey to defend the Egyptian league title. We are now second in the league table with 30 points after 12 games, three points behind Malik, who have 33 points from 15 games. Musimani, Ali Lutfi is the man of the match. Musimani expressed his happiness after the team's win over Zamalek in the Cairo Derby, saying that they had the upper hand and they controlled the game's tempo, especially in the first 20 minutes. He expressed his respect to Carter and Zamalek's head coach, and for Petsu Musimani, he said that Ali Lutfi is the man of the match and praised the performance of Mohammed Sharif, who finally added that it's not logical at all that the players play for four consecutive seasons without taking any rest. Muhammad Sharif expressed his joyness after beating Zamalek, the tough opponent as he described, and assured that the attention now is shifted towards the upcoming games, as scoring goals reflects team effort, but what really matters is the win of points in the upcoming matches. Abdel Hafiz, this victory reflects Al Ahli's character. After Al Ahli's victory, despite a lot of absence, Abdel Hafiz assured that they had faith in the players and their ability to win the three points. And this victory reflects the team's character, as some of our players participated in the derby for the first time and they pulled up an amazing performance. He added that he believes that this game is the best in the league this season. Mohamed Shinawi, Al Ahli's goalkeeper and captain, returned back to the team's training sessions at the Titch Stadium after recovering successfully from COVID-19 and testing negative on Monday. The Red Eagles started the preparations for Al Ahli's upcoming game against Smuha on Wednesday in the Egyptian Premier League. Al Ahli's women basketball team qualified to the final of the Egyptian Super League ESL after defeating Heliopolis 75 to 69 in game 3 of the semi-finals playoff series of the competition. Yothan Sports Hall in 6th of October City saw a strong performance from both teams. However, the Red Eagles had the upper hand and managed to win the last match in the playoff. Al Ahli men's handball team lost to Zamalek in the match of the Egyptian League, which was held to determine the champions of the competition. Dr. Hassan Mustafa Sports Hall witnessed a strong performance from both teams. However, the Red Eagles were unable to have the upper hand in the final minutes of the game and lost to Zamalek 18 to 17. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.